Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Jeff and this is the Stuff I Made channel. Um, today's video is about uh, power tool cable management. So one of the most frustrating things about a power tool is, is having to unravel that cable to begin with and then ravel it back up afterwards so you can store the tool. Now recently I watched a couple of videos, one by Marius Hornberger and I forget the name of the other chap but um, I'll put links below, who put me onto this, um, this product called the New Trick PowerCon, which is a little connector and it looks like this. That's the male version and there's a female version. Now the female version you would just have a plug on one end and the female connector on the other of a cable. And then this is connected to the power tool itself. So there you can see the palm sander with the male connector on. And what I'll do now is I'll show you how easy that is to fit. So I'm just going to cut the cable, give myself a little bit of room about there. Yes, this is does affect the warranty. But I've no plans on um, either selling this tool and I'm hoping it doesn't go wrong. Okay, so the first thing to do is to prepare your cable. It's just a little bit more than that, I think. Same there. So let me take the new trick, unscrew this piece here, take this end, put the, through the cable through the hole, push it all the way out, take this part now, feed that in, and just loosely put it in there for now. The next thing you need to do is take this part here. Now, because most handheld power tools only have live and neutral and not an earth, just to make sure I don't use the earth by mistake, just using an Allen key. Just tighten that up. You see that tightens up just there. So that one's closed. Now, the markings say this one's neutral, it says it's just an N there, and then an L just there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. So it is pretty hard to see, but that's its only flaw really. Everything else, I've been very impressed with how easy it is to connect. So just to check, neutral, and neutral in this in the UK is blue. Sorry, I don't know if you saw that. Just put one more in, and then. Really clamp down on it. Okay, finish with that. Just give it a little test, give each wire a little test to make sure it's not going to come out. And then there is one way that this fits on. That's it there. And then you bring this up to here, like that, take this piece now, and the, the fattest piece there seems to lock in just to the right of the yellow of the yellow knob here, so there's some grooves just in there, and that fat piece there, there's some th a thinner one and a thinner one as you go around, if you twist it just off centre, it just slides in, and then it really clamps down on it. Give it a little pull. Now this is the uh, the male one. There's a female one, and um, that's already attached to the end of a long cable. So I'll show you that now. Okay, so there's the female one, and there's the male one, and you line those up. Go just off center, in, and rotate and click, and it's locked in now. To release it, you have to pull that back and twist it, and then come undo it. So just again, in, click, it's done, and then hopefully, you can see that works. Then when you want to put your tool down and use another tool, that's all you've got to put away. You can see that I've done it for all my handheld 
well, the majority of my handheld power tools. Okay, so all of these tools here run off of just that one cable. 